Shalom everyone! Welcome to another fun day of Judaica and music with Grin and Cancer. Today we're going to talk about Shavuot. And what is this, Grin? Our What's It toy. Let's start with our What's It toy. What's in a What's It toy? I want to know right now. What's in a What's It toy? I want to know. I want to know. I want to know right now. What is it? A Torah. And what color is the cover of the Torah? We have a blue cover on our Torah. We have our Torah and red on the top. We received the Torah on Mount Sinai. That's why we celebrate the Torah on Shavuot. That's one of the things we do is we dance with our Torah. And the cover here is blue. Kahol. Kahol is the color I see. That's blue. Kahol looks good to me. When I dance with my Torah, Kahol blue is what I see. Brand, what's next? We don't put the Torah on the floor. We never, never put the Torah on the floor. So I'll hold it. Pick what's next. It's mac and cheese. And what color is it? I like mac and cheese. I know you do. What color? What color is this? It's yellow. Tzaho. We have mac and cheese because on Shavuot we eat dairy, we eat cheesecake, we eat lots of cheese because before we got the Sefer Torah, we did not know how to keep kosher and eat the right kind of meats. So we eat cheese and dairy products to remember what we ate before we received all these rules. Tahov is the color I see. That's yellow. Tahov looks good to me. When I eat my mac and cheese, Tahov yellow is what I see. Uh oh, one more. What is it? What is it? It's a talit. What color is it, Brynn? Go get it to my baby and set to walk it. Okay, but what color is it? Can you tell me? White. White, Lavan. And we use our talit when we read the Torah. We wear it and we take our talit and we touch the Torah and we kiss the talit. You want to try, Brynn? No. Okay, so Lavan. Our talit is Lavan. Lavan is the color I see. That's white. Lavan looks good to me. Go ahead. When I use my tali to kiss my Torah, Lavan white is what I see. Let's clean everything. Let's put it away. This is where our shabu oat items will stay. Soon we'll find another fun toy to play. And we can go and have a fun and great day. It's time for our good morning song. Are we ready? Yeah. When I say Boker Tov, everybody say Boker Or. When I say both get tall, everybody say both get old. Everybody ready? Come on, come on. Everybody ready? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Everybody ready? Aha, aha. Both get tall. Should we try our other good morning song for 
our friends? Yeah. Okay. Chaverim and Chaver Rhodes. Let's do it. Get your hands ready for the sun. Boker Tov Chaverim. Boker Tov Chaver Rhodes. Boker Tov Chaverim. Good morning, good morning, good morning. What's your name? Bryn. To Bryn. Good morning, good morning, good morning to? To Daddy. Good morning, good morning, good morning to? To Mommy. Boker Stay 
אוזניים, שתי ידיים, אצבעות, that's fingers, שתי עיניים, שתי אוזניים, שתי ידיים, אצבעות. Use those senses whenever you're around to say fair Torah. Because the Torah is so special and holy, we want to take in each moment with all of our senses. Jump up, get down, come dance with cancer. We're moving our bodies to the other set. Stand nearby, whoa, oh, 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 oh. Stand far away, now clap your hands. To the letter of the day, clap, clap. What's the letter, clap, clap? What's the letter, clap, clap? Clap, 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 clap. The letter of the day is Ayin. Ayin for Eser. So if we count in Hebrew, Echad, Shtayim, Shalosh, Arba, Chamesh, Shesh, Sheva, Shmone, Tesha, Esser, ten. Esser means ten. This is our word of the day because we are going to talk about the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments are special laws that were given to us by God on Mount Sinai, which is what we remember and celebrate on Shavuot. Esser Hadibrot, ten commandments. It's story time. Come sit with me. Wiggle, 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 stop. It's story time. We'll read a book. Giggle, 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 shh. Use your ears to listen. Use your eyes to see. Give me your attention. Use your imagination with me. The Littlest Mountain. Long, long ago, God called all of the mountains together. My friends, God said, since time began, you have watched over the world with me. Some people have been kind and generous with one another, while others have been hateful and cruel. My people cannot seem to live together. The mountains agreed. But what did God want from them? People have always looked up to the heavens, God continued. So I will speak to them from a mountaintop. I will give them laws to follow so that the world will finally know peace. Peace is shalom in Hebrew. The mountains cheered at this high honor. They joined in a great circle and danced. Then God asked quietly, which mountain should I choose? Instantly, the dance ended. The mountains broke apart, pushing and shoving. They turned this way and that, trying to impress God. Of course, God will choose me, bragged the beautiful Mount Carmel. My seaside slopes are lush and green. My Hebrew name means garden. People fight over my rich land. I'm the most important mountain. The other mountains mumbled in protest, except for little Mount Sinai. Its slopes were far too rocky for anyone to want. No, God will choose me, boasted Mount Hermon. I am broad and strong. I have three peaks. People marvel at my rushing streams and snow-capped summits. In my caves, they build temples to the sun and moon. I'm their favorite mountain. 
The other mountains grumbled with jealousy, except for little Mount Sinai. Its face was far too plain to be anyone's favorite. Majestic Mount Tabor pushed boldly through the crowd. God will choose me, remember. I kept my head above water during the great flood. I am the mountain closest to heaven. The other mountains rumbled with memories of the flood. Still, they argued, except for little Mount Sinai. Its peaks were far too lowly to see the wonders of heaven. Soon, other mountains joined in the boasting. Valuable rocks are mined from my land, Mount Ebal crowded. My hills are home to the fiercest battles, Mount Moriah blustered. My meadows are filled with heavenly flowers, Mount Gilboa gloated. Each mountain stepped forward to praise itself. Sure, it deserved the honor of being chosen. Only Mount Sinai stood back. And what about you, little Sinai? Asked God. Have you nothing to say? No, God, said Sinai. Unlike the others, I'm not a great mountain in any way. Whichever mountain you choose will be the best. God thought, I do not want to speak from a mountain that is boastful and vain, said God to the beautiful Mount Carmel. I do not want to speak from a mountain that has been used to worship suns and moons, said God to the vast Mount Hermon. And I do not want to speak from the mightiest peak, my people should know what my people should know that I am down among them always, said God to the majestic Mount Tabor. Mount Sinai stepped further back to admire the massive cliffs and peaks of the other mountains. Lost in thought, it wondered which would be chosen. Come forward, Sinai, God called while the other mountains squabbled among themselves. Yes, God, said the littlest mountain. I choose you, the humblest mountain, to be the special place where I will speak to my people. For you were silent when the others were boasting. You were peaceful when the others were fighting. And only you put your trust in me. And so the other mountains returned to their homes a little less full of themselves, but a good deal wiser about the ways of God. And soon enough, God spoke to the people as promised. The Ten Commandments were given to all from the top of humble Mount Sinai, which on that day was very close to heaven indeed. The end. So today for our project, we are going to use popsicle sticks and make our very own Ten Commandments. You can simplify the Ten Commandments and your teachers can help you, or you can come up with your own Ten Commandments, your laws that you want to live by. So first you need to take 10 popsicle sticks and pair them in twos, just like this. And I'm using jumbo popsicle sticks so that I have enough room to write and color on them. So I have here 10 of them. Then you need masking tape. So what you're gonna do is to begin with, you're gonna take masking tape long enough to cover most of the length of your popsicle stick. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna tape all of them together just in the pairs of two. So for example, here's one, you're gonna glue it, I mean, you're gonna tape it together like that. And you're going to continue that way for all 10 of them. And once I do that, I'll come back and show you what to do next. So here you can see my 10 that I've taped together 
you can see two, four, six, eight, ten. So I have ten popsicle sticks taped together. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn each pair over to the side that does not have the tape. So I'm going to turn each one over and then I am going to add one more stick that's going to go at the top as my title. So now you're going to tape them all together. Now remember, you have to tape them in pairs. So make sure you don't tape the two that are already taped. You have to tape this pair to this pair. And then you'll tape this to this pair and it'll go right there. So I will show you one as an example. Let me get my masking tape here. And so you're gonna take this pair and this pair together like so, and you're gonna tape it so that the pairs are taped together like that. And then you're gonna continue on and you're gonna add this one here at the top. So here you can see I finished taping everything and I added the 11th one at the top. And as you can see, it should be able to fold just like this if you did the tape on the right side. Sh they shouldn't be taped in the same places on both sides. So once you do this, now you're going to color them all and decorate them all and make your own commandments or use the commandments that God gave us. And you can do it with words or you can do it with pictures. I'll be back to show you the final product. So I used acrylic paint markers. You can use those, Sharpies, anything that will work on wood. And this is what I did. I chose to use the commandments given by God and I simplified them and did pictures for those who can't read as well as words. So I have here at the top 10 commandments. Number one, one God. Number one, only one God. Number two, no pretend God. So we don't worship anyone else or anything else but God. Number three, respect God's name. Don't ever use God's name in vain. We never say any bad words or any bad thing about God. Rest on Shabbat. Keep Shabbat. You can see my Z's sleeping. Respect mom and dad. Ima ve'aba. Here's a picture of an ima ve'aba. We don't want to hurt others or anything else in this world. So we want to love our animals and our friends and our people and even people that we just met for the first time. Number seven, you got to keep your promises to your family, especially mommies, daddies. They have to keep promises to each other so you can see the rings from when they got married. We don't want to steal. Number eight, don't take money or anything from anybody. Never take. We like to ask permission. We have to ask before we would like to borrow something, but we don't just take things and steal. Don't lie, here's Pinocchio, where his nose grows so long because he lied. We never wanna lie, we always wanna tell the truth. And number 10, to be happy with what we have and not be jealous and wish we had something else, to love what we have, to appreciate what we have and be happy. Here's our smiley face. And now what I can do is they fold right up like this, as you can see. Oh, and I also use stickers, so you can also use stickers if you don't wanna color everything. And it folds up just like that. And these are my 10 commandments. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. David, Melech Yisrael, Chai, 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 vikayam, 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 chai, chai, vikayam,
Who kept up with me? Shalom Chaverim, Shalom Chaverim, Shalom, Shalom. Lehitraot, Lehitraot, Shalom, Shalom. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye, my friends, goodbye. again. Shalom. Shalom. Enjoy celebrating Shavuot, receiving our Torah, our Ten Commandments, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone.